What's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you the cleanup of an Intel i3-370M after a thermal pad failure. As you can see the pad was in very bad shape and was providing little to no thermal transference. Uh, that first little bit there was uh, just showing some of the stuff I'd started cleaning prior to starting the recording. Uh, for cleaning supplies I'm just using cleaning uh, Q-tips and some 93% rubbing alcohol. This laptop belongs to a family friend and she asked if I would look at it because it kept locking up and restarting. Uh, initially the system ran fine for me at least. Uh, I performed some basic checks on it, checked for virus, got those removed, checked for hard drives. Uh, the hard drive actually had bad sectors so I decided to get that replaced and uh, with her permission I went ahead and ordered a replacement hard drive. Uh, memory tested alright as well so no problems there. Uh, when the hard drive came in, I uh, started trying to install the OS and then the laptop started randomly rebooting on me too. And uh, I was kind of thinking, well, shoot, this is probably going to be thermal then. And those of you who work on laptops know this is where you dislike working on laptops because they're small, a lot of trouble to work on, and those tiny little screws. I mean, I think those were made by the devil or something. So I called her and said, hey, I think it's a thermal issue. Uh, I can try opening it up and checking if you'd like. She agreed, so that's what I ended up doing. And uh, that's uh, that first picture you've seen is, is what I've seen. And uh, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning it up. And uh, I just, I, I didn't start recording prior to this because I just, I've got a lot of stuff going on with school, work, uh, family life in general and uh, I just I didn't record that first section and uh, spoiler alert I didn't I didn't do the uh, putting it back together either I didn't record that as well uh, just I've got a lot of things going on and during this time I had an exam that I was trying to get studied for and I just wanted to get this laptop prepared and move it on uh, back to her so this way she's got it and it's out of my hair um, and uh, everything's working she's been using it and without any problems but you can see right here I've got the uh, processor pretty well cleaned up it's shining nicely uh, no more bits of, of clay um, so it just it's looking good I decided I'd go ahead and clean up the uh, heat pipe too and uh, in doing that it it just for me I want to make sure everything was clean this way I've got uh, a good surface to surface contact uh, with the uh, 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 Arctic 5 or Arctic Silver, I'm sorry, um, thermal compound. And uh, it, just, it just was a lot of work. Uh, you'll see that uh, there are quite a few Q-tips and little bits of towel that I'd use to get this all cleaned up. So. Uh, right here I'm putting on the thermal compound and uh, just making sure everything fits nicely put the heat pipe back on and get everything cinched down I decided also while I was there uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the chipset as well because uh, you know while in Rome take care of it uh, as you can see it was much better looking and sent her a picture of what it should have looked like but I got it cleaned up and everything turned out fine she's been using it uh, ever since this video and or ever since I did this repair and it's been working well so all right everyone I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any comments questions or concerns please leave them below please hit that thumbs up button consider subscribing and until next next time be good to each other goodbye